Check it here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, now is the time that we can start speculating about what this Warships update is actually going to be. I'm excited that it's just out, um, and we can finally start talking about this, and the the biggest thing that I've seen everyone kind of compare this to is the second base in Clash of Clans, which, which honestly, I think makes a, makes a ton of sense. It looks like they're they're kind of going the, the same direction with, uh, with Boom Beach as, as they did in Clash, and that was a massive update for Clash of Clans, and the cool thing about that update for Clash of Clans is it brought in a lot more regularly scheduled frequent updates to the secondary base it was almost every month there was a new troop there was a new new levels coming up for your buildings uh etc etc which is exactly what the game needs and you know it's not going to punish the people um you know it's not going to make the, the the grind on the main base any harder or anything like that now a couple um a couple things that i wanted to um make note of in clash of clans in comparison to uh, in, in comparison to, to what this this um, Warships update could be, is um, in, in Clash of Clans they have this ability. Um, there's this ability on your second base, on your on your builder base is what it's called, um, and it, it's a gear up um, ability. And basically what that does is once you upgrade something in the second base, you can get like um, a new kind of ability on your defense or a new level even on your defense on your main base. But it's it's uh, d determined by your levels on your secondary base. So there are things that they can do um, within that to just kind of keep it fresh and, um, you know, not completely throw the, the, the main base out of the picture, which I think is going to be important. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really exciting, man. I, I can't wait to see how this is going to work. Um, and they talk about it being a real-time PvP um, uh, style of attacking. And basically the way it works in Clash of Clans, now the Chicken played a lot of Clash of Clans, guys. Not so much recently, but um, basically if, if, if this is how it was going to work in um, in Boom Beach, what, it's, what it really kind of sounds like is, uh, we'll pull up the image right here. So it sounds like um, if it's going to be real time, uh, the, the, the way it works in Clash of Clans is, is, is you're, you search for a battle and then you're matched up with somebody and then you attack their base and they attack your base at the same exact time and then whoever gets the higher percentage of destruction wins that battle. Um, and then, you know, you win one, two or three stars depending on how you take it down. But um, it would be really interesting to see how that would work in Boom Beach. And I just love the idea of the, the real time battles. It's just... I don't know. It's just some. It's just a lot more fun than attacking um, how we are currently in in the game, where it's just these bases that just sit on your map. It just feels. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it it just feels more kind of uh, like this feels outdated, honestly. Like the the the, the way the that you clear your map and stuff currently, it it just feels kind of. Um, it, I don't know. It just feels kind of weird. And like, sure, you get the the same thing with operations when you're attacking live and you can see all your all your guys and stuff, but. We'll bring up the image again, and the cool thing about this is it looks like there is, um, there's not only the secondary base, there's the secondary base, um, and there, there's an HQ on it, we can see right there, um, right in the center, and then there's this, what looks to be an operation base, um, with two power cores on it, on the actual warship itself. So, the update was called Warships, right? So, sure, it could be just a single secondary base that you upgrade, etc., etc., but it looks like it's going to be a lot more than that. It looks like it's going to be a whole um, secondary base, secondary base with operations. Um, and, you know, based on this, it's not out of the question that there could be head-to-head -head, um, operation battles in some sort of... Um, you know, I, I don't want to throw Task Force Wars out there, but I also don't want to say it's impossible either. Because, I mean, I mean if they're going to bring Task Force Wars to the game... This seems like the the perfect avenue for that to actually happen. If they're bringing in a new uh, matchmaking system with ranked uh, PvP, I don't see why they can't do um, a, a Task Force War um, aspect as well. Um, especially if there's going to be multiple uh, warship style of, uh, of bases here. Now, it could also simply be that when you upgrade your stuff, it turns into you know, an operation map or something like that. Like, this this could just be three different levels of warships that we're looking at when you get them upgraded. That could be it, too. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wanted to throw that out there and and, uh, and see what you guys thought of that. I, th I think it's exciting either way. But, uh, but yeah, so... Oh, it, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's, it's just... 
it's I think this is gonna be huge. I really do. I think this is gonna be exactly what Boom Beach needs. I feel like it's um I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I feel like it's just gonna breathe some new life into the game finally. Not that it's been hor in a horrible place. I also don't think that this is necessarily going to be um you know, I think it's gonna be big and everything, but I don't think it's gonna be as game changing maybe as everybody thinks. Because for the most part, I feel like whoever's here for Boom Beach right now is, like, you know, sure, a couple, like, a few people will probably come back to check it out. Some of them will stay, maybe. Some of them will go. Um, but overall, I feel like whoever's here, we're, we're kind of, uh, you know, this is probably going to be... I don't think it's going to get much bigger than what it is uh, right now in terms of people playing the game. Or, like, it's not going to go back to the... Uh, it's, we're not going to fly back to the Nick and Night days or anything like that uh, anytime soon, but... Regardless, I think it's a fun new game mode, and I'm excited to uh, to see more on what this is. And th they did say in the video as well um, that they're going to be releasing a lot more information on this as we go. So make sure to stay subscribed to the Chicken's YouTube channel, guys, and Boom Beaches as well. Just so you're first uh, to hear about the updates and everything like that. As soon as we hear anything about it, we'll definitely make sure that, uh, that we get you guys filled in in the loop. And we're still using the Mega Crab strategy with all the tanks. It's kind of, it works great at 550 VP. What can I say, guys? What can I say? So, um, yeah, I think that's basically all I wanted to chat about today, guys. Um, but let me know. Let me know what your speculation is for this Warships update. Let me know what you're feeling about it. Let me know what you think it could be. Um, and then maybe we'll talk about tomorrow what uh, what some of your guys' best ideas would be for, uh, for this Warships update. That, you know, it's coming in 2019, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, it's coming. It's coming, and it's going to be big, and they've been working on it for a while, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that they came out with something like this instead of just, like, new troops, new heroes, because, you know, we've already seen that. Something new is uh, it, it is really going to go a long way for, uh, for Boom Beach and in the chicken's humble opinion, guys. So, guys, that is going to wrap up the video today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back, back.